All right, welcome to another edition of JTJU, where we all try to be just a little better at a game of Clash of Clans. I got another Clad War Tactics screencast for you, this time focusing on the Town Hall 8 Dragon Snipe Attack. When your enemy hangs out its AD just a wee bit too close to the walls, this is the attack for you. So let's take a look, but first a shout out to Imagine Dragons with On Top of the World. Great song, great video, check it out on YouTube. Here we go. All right, so first question is, what is a dragon snipe? It's actually very similar to the 717, where you actually have seven dragons and 17 loons, but it's different in that the 17 loons are replaced in total or majority with hogs, because your tactics are going to be, instead of a bull rush of loons to the mid, you're going to try to use that hog component and loon component to snipe the three ADs, enabling the dragons to come back through and clean it up. The next big question is, when should I use it? And really at Town Hall 8 there's four main attacks, 11 Light, Dragon Snipe, 813 Dragoon, 105 Dragoon. So let's walk through them. First question, are all ADs within five tiles of one another? If so, you're going to go 105 Dragoon. If not, you're going to look and say to yourself, hey, are at least two of them within five tiles? If yes, you do the 11 Light. If not, then you're going to ask another question, you're going to say, are two of the ADs near the edge within two hops is what we'd call near. If so, Dragon Snipe. If not, 813 Dragoon. And there you have it. That's how you decide. So with that said, let's take a look at Dragon Snipe. We'll take four example attacks and try to lay down the tactics from that. All right, so the first attack of Dragon Snipe will actually show the usage of light for spells, and that's because the only one of the three ADs is actually inside. A little hard to get to via two hops, so you're lightening that one, and the other two, which were then two to three hops of the edge, you're going to get those with the hog. So first you trigger after that, get the CC to come out, and then you let the CC come up to where you're actually going to deploy the drags. You deploy the drags away from where the ADs remain, because you're trying to protect them in this case when I actually meet shields. And then you come back before the AD's lock on the dragons. You come back with your hogs to snipe out both ADs. And usually you are looking at how many are there. But, you know, split it could be evenly split hogs between the two. Or you could wait one side if you feel like it's a, you know, three hop versus a two hop on the other. You can use those factors to decide how you split up. And then if the ADs themselves are covered more by ground-based defenses like wizard towers, cannons, things such as that. Then you might want to go loons instead of uh, hogs for half of your snipe group, but in this case you went hogs all the way. Worked well. Three start. Alright, so attack number two, we'll look at a drag snipe using a heal, and that's where we've got the ADs all within two to three hops of the edge. You can see that's kind of the case here. First you want to do is a trigger. Make sure that you can actually pull out the CC. It's critical with any hog based attack, which a snipe is, to get that done. So then pull those out to the dragon, get them locked on before you deploy your snipe teams, and then they go in. Woo! Now I would actually would have waited a little bit here, allow your dragons to take a little damage, allow the defenses to lock, because you got the heals there. They'll heal up the dragons as they come through. But it works. We get the hogs in, they're healed, they're not going to be taken out. The ADs go down, and you can see the dragons then come through. Less is a meat shield, more is you know, the primary cleanup group. And then lastly, look at how he uses the Barb King down at the bottom to actually distract, which is a pretty heavily defended AD. I mean, it's a weak AD, but it's heavily defended. Multiple ground base units, multiple whiz towers. So the king goes in first, they lock onto him, hog team goes in, heal goes down. You can't do anything about it. It's a three star. Good job. All right, for attack number three, we're going to take a look at a more complicated dragon snipe light. In this case, it's a max Town Hall 8, and the AD, one of them is kind of buried, so lightning is the right path, and we take that out at 2.30. And at that point, you know, you're really now looking at those last two ADs. We're going to deploy the drags here up at 2.30. Notice we don't trigger here, and I think they do that because it's just probably a hard to lure, hard to trigger CC. Uh, so it's a bit of a risk, but okay. Uh, but we're still waiting to how we're going to get to those ha those ADs because the pathing is kind of hard actually. But here's how he solves it: using the CC as loons, he's going to deploy that to the middle of that finger sticking out between the two ADs, and then those loons take out the the defensive buildings that would then force the hogs to pather on. He actually drops those hogs there at seven a little early. If he would have waited till now at the deployment, they would have ran straight to the AD and deployed the other ones there at nine 
a little late. But you can see basically the planning that went through it and it worked even with those slight mistakes on timing. And it's not so much that you need to do this bass with this specific mix in the CC to win. Rather, I want you to see that how you can use part of your snipe team, hogs or loons, to shape the pathing around for your main force to directly get in to the two ADs that remain. That's the key. Thanks to our sub, GGG, for this replay. It was his design. Great job. Okay, with our last attack, let's take a look at a Drang Snipe Light with a Town Hall 8 attacking at entry level Town Hall 9. So there's four ADs, we light the one in the middle, that leaves three, so we're going to have to split up our force into smaller groups. That means we need to take some fire for our hogs, and that means putting down the Barbarian King first, that covers for that group. Then we move to one at 3.30, and then that one I would have actually deployed the drags first to pick up some of that air fire. Would have done a little bit better, but the AD was pretty far out, so it didn't matter. So we didn't do a T-Duck there, but probably wouldn't be able to with the amount of ADs we got to cover. And then we've got the last one up there at 12 o'clock, and the problem is, see that Valk spinning around there? So that's a big problem for the Hogs. So we're out of troops to mess with it. We're waiting to see if the Drags will close them. Finally, just have to commit and send it in and hope that the Hogs can get it down before the Valk takes them out, and they do. Um, so I think, you know, there's, that was really the best he could do there. And all, overall, great attack good example of how even against an entry-level Town Hall 9 with 480s, if the 80s are close enough to the edge, you can use your Barbarian King and Dragons to do the distraction and take fire. You can get those hogs in and get down. You might be able to three-star that Town Hall 9 entry-level. Great job. Alright guys, that wraps up this edition of Clan War Tactics, taking a look at a Dragon Snipe attack. Hope it helps your Town Hall 8 attacks. If you liked it, Give a like, give it subscribe, tweet about it, give me some kind of love. Otherwise, feel free to check out our last video. I think it was a three-star spotlight of using the 105 Dragoon mentioned in this video. Or, if you want a little bit of something something, check out P. Gotti. He's a sub that I mentioned that gave us that attack, the third of four in this video. He's a great YouTuber and has a lot of good attack footage you can take a look at. Alright, Imagine Dragons, take him out!